I will 100% say a year ago, I would have never been prepared for this, but a year later, I am in a much better place and I feel a lot more comfortable, you know, talking about this experience, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> I am a single mom and I will be going through this alone. If you're watching this video, you know, trying to figure out who the father is, like trying to figure out, you know, like if there's beef, there's no beef, you know, it was just a choice, not by me, if you know what I mean, but we don't discuss the father on here, you know, just know like it was not my choice. It was a choice, but it was not mine. So... That does happen sometimes, but if you're on here looking for the beef, you know, we don't, we're not, I'm not going to do that here. So, um, I will say 100%, this has been one of the, like, it's been definitely an experience, you know, it has definitely been a journey. So I do want to talk about like what I have been through so far, talk about my anxiety, you know, talk about my fears, be bluntly honest as possible. So, I do have a 100% confirmed pregnancy by doctor. You know, we do know that it's definitely, you know, there. And I want to talk about the things that I have been through with HG and everything else. I have not had my first ultrasound yet. And it's very, very scary. You know, that first, like, initial ultrasound, you know there's a lot of stuff that you find out and to, and to think that there's something wrong with my baby or to like even not even be like you know a consideration it's very very scary to go through you know as a single mom you know trying to figure out life you know being mature as possible you know it's very scary you know I do know like where I go to school um one of the best supportive communities around me 100%. They have 100% worked with me. You know, they even sent my job resume to a job fair. And I, you know, and I was like, you know, and I was so grateful about that. You know, I've been nothing but grateful. I am in, <laughs> I'm on the honor society, you know, and like, just so like, you know, it means a lot that like my child will know that like I did those things, you know. So I'm very nervous. And like, I don't know if any other moms have went through this you know it's very scary it's absolutely very very scary to go through I am scared that I'm gonna go to that initial ultrasound and find out that something's wrong that like I you know didn't know about but like you learn a lot from that like initial vision I feel like they say it's very bad luck to talk about it this early. However, like, if something was to happen, you know, and I'm not saying it is, you know, I would want to be public about it as possible due to the fact that, like, I do think you need a supportive community around you, like, with this experience, you know. Um, um, I, what was scary is that the first thing that went wrong is that, like, the, and it's very, like, you know, it's very much confirmed, very, very much positive, very much confirmed by a doctor. But um, the first thing that went on was that they had to, to send my urine off for a culture. Anytime you get told that when you're pregnant is one of the most scariest things to hear, you know, because like, I'm like, oh, and it's nothing scary. She's like, don't worry, you know, nothing's wrong, you know. It does not mean there's something to be concerned about, you know. She's like, we're just like checking some things out, you know. But, you know, you are very much pregnant. There's nothing to be like scared of, you know. It's very, you know, it's fine. She's what we told me. She said, we're just, you know, running some tests, you know. But like, don't worry. Don't stress. You know, everything's fine. And I'm like, okay. Now to get past the second doctor's appointment. All right. <sighs> I got this phone from AT&T. It's a really good phone. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna finish that sentence. I'm not supposed to say that. Okay, so um, let's talk about what I've been going through so far. Um, I have had a lot of implantation cramps, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm not a healthcare professional, so um, my major's not even nursing anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm not a professional, you know. So, so um, yeah, the initial cramping throughout your first trimester of pregnancy, you know, is very scary, you know, when you, you know, it hasn't happened before, and, you know, you see that initial cramping, you know, I was terrified about it, and, like, they keep reassuring me, you know, it's very normal, it's fine, you know, but just to make you feel better, we're gonna do an ultrasound, you know, on the 17th, you know, and I'm like, okay, like, and it's very scary, like, I am so nervous about that first ultrasound, like, I am nervous, you know, I am scared they're gonna tell me something's wrong. So let's talk about the other nasty symptoms that I have had. So <clears throat> for um I don't know if other women going through their first trimester have experienced, but it was more it was more extreme for me. <laughs> I like I said I want to be real and raw. So even before my pregnancy I had a lot of constipation issues. Okay, just putting that out there. Not gonna go into detail. We had to have an enema before it. That bad. Now, when we got pregnant, it was like 10 times worse. Like, I thought mine was bad. No, honey, like, this is bad. This is bad, bad. So, um, I literally felt like I always, I already was giving birth. <laughs> but, like, I almost died, like, my first trimester. And, like, you know, the constipation is, like, went from here. You know, like, yes, it's bad. Yes, you had the enema. To, like, way here. And I did not think mine could even get any worse. And, like, I literally, like, I struggled. And I'm, like, it's halfway <laughs> It's halfway out. And I was just like, you know, it hurt so bad. And, like, to think that even when you go into labor, like, the initial poop, like, after you go into labor, it's a whole lot worse, you know? And I'm like, you know, that's very scary for me to think about as well. So, you know, and I'm like, but I literally, <laughs> it was the worst thing I experienced so far was that, like, initial, like, first trimester poop because, like, I, <laughs> I passed the fuck out. <laughs> And, like, I woke up literally, like, with extreme, like, nausea, you know, already, you know, from morning sickness. And I was, like, and I literally started throwing up, like, after that poop because it was so awful. <clears throat> now we have hemorrhoids. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's talk about something else I experienced. Um, my boobs have already gotten humongous. Now, me, I am choosing not to breastfeed choosing not for me because I know that like you know I have had very tiny um breasts and I don't feel like it's going to be the right option for me so but my boobs are huge right now but it's probably going to go away the only positive to say, say so far I have HG this pregnancy and it has been awful I'm going to the doctor tomorrow to find the safest medication to treat it because I cannot function like there's literally so much to do and I cannot do anything like I literally cannot do anything and I'm like oh my god there's a fucking roach Ooh. okay there's literally bugs all over this damn house like who what is my family doing okay so um let's talk about the positive things I First of all, I live with my family by choice. I don't have to. <laughs> I do have a career and a job. <laughs> Period. For all y'all petty people that are watching that think they know me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You know, it, it's it's not a concern. It's not a concern, you know. So, um, if you're going to get in my business, mind your business, okay? <laughs> but, um, a year ago, not so much. Not that now? Yeah. So, um... Yeah, there's a lot of people that run their mouth about me, say I'm childish, say I can't even take care of myself. Okay, mind your business, because I come a long way. Okay, that's on period. <laughs> period poo. <laughs> 
which we don't have no period no more <laughs> okay but anyways i just want to thank this thank you guys for being you know all like authentically you know supportive I do have a strong support system, you know, where I go to school at, you know, and everything else, you know, and like, they're amazing. They have done nothing but work with me. And that's absolutely amazing. And I'm an honor student now. So we're not a nursing student no more. We're an honor student. May I be what we want, but, it, you know, in a way it works. You know? So um, will we go back to nursing? maybe not right now right now we're just exploring <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that you have a right to explore in college okay so um thank you guys for watching you know thank you so much for being supportive if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i love sharing this life day with you guys and bye